Hello everyone, it's Shane Kanto, your Wasteland reviewer, and I'm here to review the new horror film, The Welder. And this is from director David Liz, and focuses on a young couple, Ro and Eliza, who <coughs> come upon this getaway and meet this former doctor who is doing harrowing experiments trying to solve racism. And guess what? He's probably racist. Um, but you have this dynamic between Camila Rodriguez and Ro Dunkley, who play Eliza and Ro in the film. And you spend a different, a decent amount of time building up their dynamics. And I think they do a solid job of building that up and getting us to care about them. There's how they portray like the action and the horror and everything is little interesting it's I feel like it's going for some kind of like visceral approach to shooting the scenes except they just come off looking cheesy and obnoxious a bit and it kind of takes you out of those scenes where you're supposed to be building up fear and that feeling of like uneasiness the film tries to tackle big ideas in terms of social activism and racism and I think fumbles them quite a bit. I don't think this film does a great job of balancing those ideas and threading it into like the actual horror elements of the story. And, you know, in a post get out world, and it just seems like this is not the best way of going about these kinds of themes and ideas in a horror film. And you do have. And. You have uh, William Go uh, Godwin, who is this former doctor played by Vincent DePaul, who's like supposed to be like this handsome looking dude who uh, is charming and, you know, is also honestly really creepy. And then, of course, you have like the welder mask thing, and that's honestly kind of eerie and unnerving at times. And then this film takes some shifts towards the end of the film and how this all resolves completely undercut this film for me and took me out of it and I'm just like are you serious and in the end it has some promising elements thrown in there you could really see its budget though and I don't think it's it tackles the ideas that it's trying to in the most you know subtle of ways and careful of ways and this feels kind of messy in terms of Basically, from the filmmaking to the writing to the themes, the ideas. And in the end, this is probably not a film that I'm going to be like, oh, you should definitely check this one out. But, you know, if you're into horror, you like low-budget horror films, you have The Welder here, go check it out. But those are my thoughts on The Welder. Let me know what you think and let's talk some movies. But thank you, as always, for tuning in and supporting your Wasteland Reviewer.